Hi, I'm Ann Thomas, here with my co-host Stephen Wilcox. We searched the country for great places to call home. Those special kind of places where you can build your career, have a wonderful home and family life, be in a nice community, and have some fun, too. And today we're visiting an entire county in the Deep South. It has a rich history, the qualities that residents here really love, and a bright future. Today we're visiting Jones County, Mississippi. Jones County is tucked away in southeast Mississippi. Located on the I-59 Technology Corridor, it's two hours northeast of New Orleans and equal distance from the Atlantic Coast and Dallas, Texas. A retreat from big cities, but everything from large towns to the fabulous Gulf Coast just minutes away. Where better to start our exploration of Jones County than right here in Laurel, Jones County's largest city. We're in the heart of the historic district on Fifth Avenue, which boasts the largest collection of craftsman style houses in the state. Now, doesn't this street just look like a classic American painting brought to life? I love it. You may be surprised to know, but in the 1800s, lumber was king in Jones County. And that's when all these beautiful homes and buildings sprang up. And they've also done a great job preserving history here and throughout the county. But one of the nice things about this area is the variety of neighborhoods, both old and new. Let's check them out. Jones County really does have a lot to offer. You've got nice neighborhoods, plenty of playgrounds, parks, libraries, and community centers nearby. And you know, I understand that a big reason why people are attracted to moving here is the low cost of living. Speaking of low cost living, housing is very affordable, especially for those young families who need that little extra space in their first home. Yeah, that and family-oriented communities like these really make you feel welcome, safe, sound. That reminds me, we should also mention the outstanding health care available here in Jones County, especially the South Central Regional Medical Center in Laurel. This is a fantastic medical facility. The center offers complete emergency medical services with all the inpatient and outpatient services you'd expect. The women's place for maternity care, surgery, cardiac, diagnostic, wellness, and rehabilitation services, and many community health programs that reach across the county. Quality health care is very accessible in Jones County. There are private physicians, clinics, senior care, and specialty medical facilities for every individual's and family's need. It's nice to know that when you or they need medical services, the best is close by. And speaking of those active little ones, schools come to mind. If you're looking for good schools, then you've come to the right place. Jones County has two school systems that operate highly rated elementary, secondary, magnet, and alternative schools. In fact, the Jones County School District has six level five schools and four level four schools. With level five being the highest rating in the state, that's a lot to be proud of. A testament to the innovative leadership, quality teaching, involved parents, and hardworking young students. And the strong support of education doesn't stop with kids. Jones County adults have a wide range of educational opportunities with five top quality colleges and universities inside the county or close by. For example, Jones County Junior College is located in Ellisville. It enrolls over 5,000 students each year and is really tuned in with local industry to ensure training for good jobs. They're well known for their strong academic, career, and technical programs. On a smaller, more specialized scale, there's Southeastern Baptist College. It's a highly respected private college right in Laurel. Then there's the nationally recognized University of Southern Mississippi, practically next door. It's just south along Interstate 59 in Hattiesburg. William Carey College and Antonelli College are just a short distance from Jones County too. With great private and public universities like these available, it's no wonder the workforce here is fueling growth in local industries. Speaking of local industries, people might be surprised to learn how diversified Jones County economy is. Now this is what a technology park should look like. 
No kidding, it's the 500 acre Howard Technology Park. Government, industry and education join forces to develop the site as a center for economic development in the Gulf States region. It won't be long before this becomes a hotbed for a wide range of technology based industries. That's for sure. One company that certainly reflects Jones County's economic optimism is Howard Industries, the number one producer of distribution transformers in the United States. Howard Industries has diversified over the years to form its own transportation company and a ballast products division that manufactures electronic and magnetic ballast. Their newest division is Howard Computers. They manufacture the latest computer technology for business. One of their specialties is rugged laptop computers designed for heavy industry. Over the next 10 years, the company expects to add hundreds of jobs and expand its manufacturing facilities here in the park. But all this talk of growth and diversification isn't limited to technology companies in Jones County. They really do have a lot of business success stories to tell. On the large side, Jones County is home to the country's largest manufacturer of rotary cutters, a highly successful custom foundry and the state's largest poultry processors. And we can't forget to mention the famous Masonite Corporation. In the 1920s, William Mason discovered how to make hardboard from waste products of the lumber industry. It became the largest hardboard plant in the world. On a smaller scale, there are plenty of established and new small to mid-sized companies thriving here. Some support the larger manufacturers, but many others serve the needs of growing communities across the county. Judging by all these businesses, it seems the folks in Jones County have been pretty good at keeping up a tradition of running successful businesses. And that's good news for stable employment and lots of new opportunities. Everybody describes this as a very business friendly region because of the strong partnership among industry, government, and schools. Speaking of schools, we should mention that all the local colleges and universities have programs designed to supply highly trained workforce. In fact, the Jones County Junior College Advanced Technology Center is based right here in Howard Technology Park. And there's no doubt that would be a boon to local employers. Jones County also has a reputation for supporting entrepreneurs. There's a lot of innovation going on around here. And local businesses are always looking for new alliances and partnerships to encourage startup companies. Okay. So far we've shown you why Jones County is a great place to call home because of neighborhoods, communities, educational opportunities, and an outstanding business environment. But there is one more aspect that makes this such a special place. Ah, it's time for a bit of fun, I'd say. This is the life. There's no shortage of recreational opportunities in and around Jones County. How about an all-day canoe ride? Ann and I found a lot of ways to have fun. Here's a sample of what you can do if you live here. Sports, nature, family activities are everywhere. Not a bad way to spend the day in the great outdoors in Mississippi. Amazing, but if you prefer more cultural and entertainment pursuits, well, Jones County is home to those too. This is the magnificent Lauren Rogers Museum of Art in Laurel. It has an outstanding collection of 18th, 19th, and 20th century paintings, sculptures, and pottery. This museum has richly contributed to the cultural life of Jones County residents since it opened in 1923. You've got to see the Native American artifact collection. Lots of history in this part of Mississippi. In addition to the museum, there are endless other ways of enjoying life here in Jones County.
Jones County has it all. A great library system, theaters, concerts, parades, fairs, shops, and restaurants. Terrific ways to have a good time year round. Even if your idea of having a good time is just relaxing in a peaceful spot. There is no doubt Jones County truly is a great place to call home. The warm people, nice communities, attractive career opportunities, everything. Just visit here and you'll see what I mean. That's about it from us from Jones County, Mississippi. Until next time, best wishes to you in finding your place to call home. Yeah, I'm